This is part four of the Steampunk Globe series, and this is what we've got so far. And I think it looks, I think it looks really good as it is. <laughs> uh, but of course, we're going to try to texture this thing, and that's going to take a little bit of a little bit of work here. We're going to get into the unwrapping phase now, and this is going to take a little while. And because this can be a rather long process, I may not show all of it. I may speed some of it out. Let me cut some of it out. So we're going to see. Um, all right. So the first thing that I want to say is that I'm going to actually create just two materials. So I'm going to create a base material here. And I'm going to start that right now. So I'm just going to call this base. And I'm very much going to have almost everything have that material. So I'm going to select everything link materials let's see if that worked that did not work let's try that again link materials now it worked all right so these all have the base material however i'm going to come in here and i'm going to select the globe and i'm going to make that as its own material globe and i'm going to come in here and find that there it is right there I called it inside before i'm going to call that globe now I'm going to hide that. I'll probably come back at some point. And I'm going to do that separate. I think I'm going to do that in Blender. It just seems to be easier to do it in Blender and change it, you know, on the spot in Blender. And the rest of this stuff we're going to do uh, in Blender itself. So whether I have it there or I have it here, it doesn't really matter. Um, and the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to use the UDIM or UV tiles method to get enough texel density on all these parts. I mean, it's not that complicated of a model, but it's it's a little bit complicated. So yeah, so we're going to get started here. And what I'm gonna do is kind of select like those two pieces there, this, this part and this part, that's gonna be one UV map. So let's, let's just head right over to UV editing and you can see that it goes wild because I'm going to have to start applying my my modifiers and I'm going to I'm going to go through and decide if I want to um, you know lower some of my subdivisions or and delete certain faces and stuff like that and I don't think I'm going to do too much of that I'll, I'll do some all right, so here we go. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to come in here. And this is what I have for this. And I think it's going to be good enough to just go unwrap for that. And this piece, I may be able to do the same thing. I'm going to apply that modifier. Now, I'm, I could come in here. And once that is applied, I could come in and say, well, I mean, I should be able to get rid of some of these like for example i really just need three edges there so i could get rid of that one and dissolve that edge and come through here and I, I shift alt and click these things and i may do some of that but we could be here for a long time like that dissolve edges and that is about all i would want to dissolve on that one maybe actually this one as well i end up with the three and the one but I still have that, that roundness so now for this one I'm thinking I would just do that so if I'm going to bring this back and I want both of these select both of them select them and uh, now you can you can pack the islands in blender which is what you need to do I'm going to use UV pack master and just just do that so there's my big sphere here and there's this piece and that's good enough this is big enough or i could come in here if i wanted to and i could control l select that s to scale i can make that a little smaller and i could take this and make it a little bigger either way is is fine now it's not that i intend to do a material that would need a lot a lot of Texel density for each piece or certain pieces you know like because i want to have like a real grainy surface or i want to write text i'm going to do a stylized thing 
which doesn't really require that much. But it's good practice in case I decide I want to do another version. And I do want to do a metal, rusty, you know, grainy type thing. That's not my plan. But if it was, this is what I would probably have to do anyhow. So anyhow, with some UVs already created there in the first UV grid, I'm going to press N. And for me, I click view with a slightly older version of Blender. You may have to come up here somewhere under here. I think the overlays. Anyway, it says UDIM grid. And I'm going to start, not there, I'm going to come across. I'm going to start going across and I'm going to go, it's 10 is the maximum you can go across and then you can start going up. So I'm going to do that and uh, try to remember what is where. So I have that main part in UV grid number one. So I'm now going to hide that and that part is done. All right, let's maybe have a look at doing maybe the, the stand and the pipe. So let's come to the pipe and I've got two subdivisions on there. And now I want to decide if I went down to one, would that be sufficient? And then I'm going to ask myself, well, why? Why do I care? I'm not really trying to conserve polys. Why don't I just leave it at two? But there's not really much of a difference. So I probably am okay with one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And so let's... Uh, have a look at this and for this one we want to slash key to view it it's open at the end so I don't have to delete so I think what I'm going to do for this one is just shift alt and click underneath it and control E mark seam and select that you unwrap and that's going to put it in the first split square as well and I don't care about that shape that's that's fine actually so slash key to bring that other stuff back so that's going to be okay. I'll move that in a minute to the second. And let's have a look at the base. I've got one subdivision. I'm not going to go any lower than that. So let's apply that and let's slash key to focus on that because that's going to give me this pattern, which I tend to not like. So I'm going to delete those vertices and just rebuild this, but I may just make it a bit better circle. I don't know why. I'm just going to do that. Now, again, I could come in here and I can get rid of some edges and some of them you know if I get rid of them it's going to change it'll change the shape but you know I don't, I don't it doesn't matter if it changes a little bit so maybe I'll do this just once in a while I mean this brings me back to my three my three my three um, I kind of need these for that gentle slope so all right, and for this one, I may just do an unwrap as well. I don't think I really need seams for that. Slash key. So if I take both of these, select them over here, and then I have to pack because they're overlapping. That's not going to work, right? In Substance Painter, you're going to get black marks or shadows or something. This is not going to work, so I'm going to pack. So that's done. And I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I want to move them by one, G1. And I should be good. Yeah, I'm not hitting the edges. So I've done two parts. I just want to double check that the material, yeah, the material's on those. So I'm going to hide those as well. We have a lot of work to do. All right, how about if we take, um, how about if we take this piece and maybe this piece and the back plate? All right, so let's let's look, have a look at the back plate first of all. Come to the modifiers, subdivision of one. I can't go any lower than that. So I'm going to apply that. And once again, I could possibly get rid of some of these. Let's see how much it changes the curvature. Not appreciably. Let's focus just on that. And all right. And I, again, I don't like that pattern, so I'm going to come out here and get rid of those. And I could make that a better circle if I care that much. I have to make a face. All right. And here on the side, I can at least get rid of these. And here I can probably get rid of those. 
and I'm not going to do this all the time at least not on camera because I will be here forever doing it but this is kind of what I have to do I'm not going to bother with any more of that now I've got these bolts here and to be quite honest with you what I tend to like to do with these is just you unwrap and I get these round things and I've got this piece and I'm just gonna go you unwrap and I'll get a round thing so I haven't done any seams yet so I got that one going and let's have a look at this bottom piece this has bolts as well let's focus just on both of those this one has one subdivision so I'm going to apply that let's come in a lot a lot of a lot of polys now I don't know that this is the best way to do things it's the way that I do things um, but yeah uh, maybe there's better ways but this is what I end up having to do if I care about what did I do there if I care about the poly count and to be honest with you uh, I don't really I mean it's it's gonna make a difference but it's not gonna make that much difference no, I'll keep that last one and this may be one of the last times I do this or maybe I'll do it a little bit more sometimes I do look at it and I go there's no way I can get away with that and then you really have to look at the top uh, I'm not gonna bother this piece I'm going to I may or may not be able to get away with that just unwrap I may put a seam in there I'm gonna try it like that but I have a feeling I'm gonna want to put seams in this Maybe I do want to get rid of some of these. Um, that one. Alright, I'll just do, I'll do two. I don't know if I deleted another one elsewhere. Just unwrap again. These ones just coming in, you unwrap. So I'll have to remember to grab all of that. And this guy here, I have to apply. And I think I can, well, I'm going to do something else in a moment. We're going to use a UV checker grid actually before we get too far ahead of ourselves. And we're going to see whether or not this is an okay way of doing it. Um, just by using just unwrap, plain unwrap versus uh, putting some seams in, which we will be doing uh, at some point for some of this. Now you would think you could just model this with a slightly higher um, polys, you know, using a cylinder or whatever it was with um, 32 vertices or you know whatever instead of having to go through all this and uh, that may be a very a very valid point uh, because this is time consuming it's not difficult but it's time consuming but if it works out in the end and it looks good then it's pleasing um, that's good enough for now yeah I, I think I don't know that that is going to be the best result for this. So what I'm going to do now is um, let's come over here and click new and just call this uh, checker or whatever. Checker and the type is going to be UV grid. Okay. I don't even really need it there, but I'm going to come to the shading tab and create a material we're looking at this thing here and we're in material preview and I'm going to go texture image texture drop that control T I have node wrangler enabled that'll put that down they'll come out of the UVs which is what we want and I'm going to choose that checker and I'm going to drop that 
that in here yeah so all right let, let's just have a look at, at uh, let's go over here now and that should put it on all of these things I think yeah all right so this one here doesn't look too bad I'm not crazy about this piece here uh, and these these look okay um, and so I'm gonna come back to this one here and I'll just go unwrap all right I'm gonna want to unwrap this I'm gonna come to the bottom and try just a mark scene so do that and then do you unwrap and have a look at it now that is not bad at all it's very um, continuous in terms of the squares the checker pattern so that's not bad there so it was that one and this one see we have a problem here that does not look very good does it and once again for this one I just did you unwrap so what I'm going to do for this one is control one look from the back and I'm going to try just with a seam down the middle and let's let's see what it what a general unwrap looks like so I'm getting these ones um, they look a little they're turned a little bit so I'm going to try splitting it here let's get rid of another one of these so there's the three let's try splitting it Mark putting a seam in there and unwrap especially for what I'm going to do this is going to be fine you know you have to think about where you put your seams because then you're going to get this break in the texture and that may or may not matter to you but that's going to be okay for what I'm going to do and uh, there we go and let's have this focusing on those 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 are going to be fine so we got that piece and that piece and this piece so that one that one and that one oh yeah with the bolts and uh, let's let's go back to the UV editor and turn on the materials slash all right so I take all of those and that's what I've got and let's pack that Okay, this one here is the I can turn on a UV sync and select that so that is that piece there and you can see that the squares are now larger than they were and it's because all of this stuff is in here so I could take this and I could try UV in blender average island scale which should adjust the size of the squares based on the actual size in the model and then I could take this and I could pack and um, that's what we've got that's going to be okay I'm going to move that two more spaces and hide all right let's do a lot of these little rinky dink things like this thing the knobs let's do all knob related things okay so we'll start with this one here this one has a bevel and I'm actually gonna apply it and I'm gonna come in by the way I should be doing this periodically just to check that so we're gonna have let's focus on what I want so that those things are joined I've got that this and this is what I was thinking. Let's slash to make sure. See if I get what I roughly want. Okay. And I toy with the idea of only doing one of these. Uh, I certainly could do one and then I could move it or just texture one. But it's going to be a dragon substance painter. It's going to look, the model's going to look unfinished. We're already not going to have the globe in there because we're going to do that in Blender. And then you just got pieces. And then if you ever did any occlusion in substance designer uh you're going to have like a dark spot where this interacts with the next piece and you're not going to have a dark spot there because you're going to copy this over in blender so it's six and one half a dozen of the other really in the uv editor for this guy here i'm going to press u and i'm going to use q projection 
and as you can see we've got something that looks not too too bad looks pretty organized we're going to stick with that for now and then we come over to this one and i think i'm going to remove this stuff piece separate it out and have a look at first of all the knob okay it's not that much going on with the knob and that okay everything's applied we could try cube project and see what it looks like on there that may actually do the job again i will never again do this in in um in geometry all right now for this one i've applied that i would then again go through dissolve in fact i would take this and i can get rid of all of these faces at least those let's just leave it like that for now and start deleting this stuff me by three I'm not gonna care too much so I'm not gonna go too crazy I am gonna get rid of that as you probably knew and I'm going to just have to make a face I'll get rid of a few more and uh, we'll have to stop doing this soon ah, good enough um, for this one I think I will try putting a seam there and there unwrap that and this is what we get and I don't mind this part if I throw in another seam down here okay so many just right where it sort of switches we could see if it looks any better you unwrap It's going to be fine for the type of material, and I'm not too worried about that. So, I think I'm going to be okay like that. And this, let's just do a merge by distance to be sure. I can really join that anyhow. It's not a problem. So, I think... Um, I think I will delete that and we'll we'll make an, another copy of it and I'll do the same I'll rotate it in a moment so let's come over here now and have a look at this so we just have that there let's make sure I save and what I think I'm going to do on this one is do a seam somewhere for the base and I think I've got to use Smart UV Project on this guy. Um, let's see, if I put a seam here. Um, yeah, if I put a seam there and there. And uh, where's that? If I just cut up. It would be potentially ugly seem here too let's just see what this looks like and we'll compare it to like a smart UV project it's not super nice let's try smart UV project on the whole thing with an island margin of 0.03 I don't know if that'll matter once I pack it you know it's not bad for what I'm going to do and I think that's going to probably do the trick so oh I guess I brought everything back so that's okay I'm going to get rid of uh, of that one and so I've got that one there so what I'll do is let's use something uh, like uh, let's go back to this for the moment let's use that and bring the 3d cursor in here because i'm going to need that one as well and let's set the 3d cursor to there and sh uh, shift d and r to rotate and now i don't know where exactly to place this one so i'm just going to do that so that i have both of those and they're already unwrapped 
and this one I'm going to shift D and rotate and at least I can put that back in you know that spot there pretty much and it's done as well so yeah let's uh, go back to here and uh, we wanted this and this and this and this and this those are the ones we wanted so let's come back in here and pack this one's taking a little bit of time because there's a lot of stuff in there That was a drag. Smart UV project can be a drag. I'm going to move that out to there. Now, I need to try and remember what I've done here. Those are done. That, that, uh, this, the bolts the back plate and those bolts are done the globe I can hide as well I believe we had the bar in there as well okay and uh, I've got this glass I'll come to that later I'm going to go on and uh, do a little bit more of this with you because it's just pretty much more of the same all of the time. For example, when it comes to doing these things, I'm going to do one and then I'm going to bring it down. Again, versus the idea of only texturing one and then copying it in Blender. And think about if you're in Blender and you're using nodes and just sort of procedural stuff, you often don't have to unwrap at all. All right. So let's have a look at this. This is a subdivision of one. I'm going to apply that. This has a subdivision of one, and I want that. I'm going to apply that. So let's just focus on that. Um, so this, I want to uh, get rid of that. And I'm going to come in here, and I um, can just make a face if I want. It doesn't really matter in this case. I don't feel like cleaning it up, so I'm not going to bother. Um, that's, if I do that, that that's not going to work. So we're going to, um, I'm going to put a seam down here. Now if I just do that and then I unwrap, we'll get this. And if I put a seam here and then I'll, and then I'll get that. And, uh, now it looks a little bit like um, see what a sea cucumber, uh, an anemone maybe that we dissected at university if you did science. Um, yeah, and that's okay for like that for uh, what I'm doing. But if you wanted to straighten this, now there is UV squares, but it costs. I think it used to be free. In fact, I think I may have a free version of it. But uh, it, it costs money, and then if you don't mind doing this, let's straighten this out and see how it looks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a, a sort of a square, something near the middle, they're kind of, kind of square. And I'm going to make them a little bit more square or at least more rectangular. I'm going to select this edge here. I just clicked. I don't even, I guess I'm in edge selection. It looks like I'm in vertex selection. But I'm going to select it and remember which one I'm on. And I'm going to scale it in the Y so it goes straight across. So I'm going to go S, Y, 0. S, Y, 0. This one, S, X, 0. And this one, SX0. And just moves a little bit. Press 3 for face selection and select that same one. And then Control L. So this is the active one that we straightened. Then I'm going to press U, uh, follow active quads. Just choose that. Okay. And then it straightens it out. And you look at it. And it looks 
looks very nice, except for where I put this. But I prefer this to that other stuff. So that's fine there. And for this one, which I've applied the um, the subdivision on, I think I'm going to select maybe maybe that one, which is the very top. And I may not get it the same in every one. Um, yeah, I think it's the second one. The second one in from the big one. No, that's not right then. The third in from the big one. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We'll try to remember though, the third one in from, from the big one. Now maybe there's an easier way to do this. I don't know. I don't know that there is. Mark seam. Let's just try that. Unwrap that and we get this. Let's have a look at it. it doesn't look that great on the inside, but it doesn't look bad around it and that's going to serve our purposes just fine so i'm going to bring some of that back so let's let's look at doing that one and let's look at doing this one here let's slash you to focus on that okay ah so in terms of what we need to apply nothing special okay so for this one i'm going to put an edge coming up what i think is sort of the back side there and uh, I may not split it. I might leave it like that. I could probably get rid of those. Let's let's have a look at just this part. Control L. Uh, like that. Control L. Let's just unwrap as a test. Yeah, not really. It's not going to matter in what I'm doing, and I could straighten that before I do. Let's let's see if I um, take this and this and this. Control E, mark seam. Let's let's just do the whole thing and see. Okay. You know what? It doesn't look too bad at all. If I really want to. I could straighten this. I'll do one more and show you. And I won't do too much more. I'm going to choose one that looks relatively straight. SY0 already. SY0. SX0. SX0. Face selection. Select the one I just fixed. Control L. And follow active quads. And that will be reflected in the checker pattern that you see there. All right, you can do the same thing for this if you didn't want it a little wobbly, but I don't think it really matters that much. So really what I would do is I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to copy that one. So I'm going to go back to layout, and I'm going to bring everything back. Um, and I'm going, that one's already unwrapped. And I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to I've got my 3D cursor there, shift D and rotate. And we'll hold shift to move a little bit slower. And that's probably okay there. Okay, so I would just have to take these pieces uh, that I just did, which I think are just those ones. And uh, what else? Was there anything else that I just did? Maybe I would do this piece as well here. So I'll do one more and then I'll finish it up on my own and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right here. So I'm going to Uh, you know what, I'm going to use it. I'm just going to apply it. That doesn't have one. And I'll come in here and I'll just really quickly uh, get rid of a little bit here. And I will not put you through this anymore. Because already it's a long video and, you know, we haven't accomplished anything exciting. But we've just done some of the stuff that we, we have to do. Unless you have a different way. Or unless you don't need to unwrap. Because if you do, and you did it this way 
I don't think you got much choice. Control one, I'll look from the back and I will I will put an edge loop in here. And we can have a look at that. Alright, let's look a little bit. A little bit like that. Alright, so let's choose one that you think is uh, not too much work. SY0 on these ones. SX0. SX0. Control L. Follow active quads. And this one, I'll just uh, come around to the back as well. Is that the back there? And I will drop an edge loop in here. And let's just see if that is okay. And once again, we have uh, we have this. And this is why there is software for straightening uh, UVs. But I, I don't really mind doing this. It's kind of fun. I just don't necessarily like to do it on, on video. Uh, it just takes a long time. But, you know. And you know, you can decide if you don't really like that. And but if I if I split this. You know, there's going to be a, a, a disjoint, and I don't like it as much, anyhow, in the texture. Again, the type of texture I'm planning on using, it shouldn't be a problem. And many of the textures, it wouldn't. Especially in Substance Painter, it can be pretty forgiving as well. So, yeah, so I did this piece, and this piece, this piece, and this piece, and that one, as far as I know. I'm going to select all those. I'm going to save... By the way, once in a while, it's not a bad idea to do that. And I'm going to pack. Okay, that wasn't as long. G4. I'm not sure exactly where I am. Okay. When I get that uh, weird effect there, it's because something's got a subdivision on. And uh, what I'm going to do just so I can select everything is I'm just going to run through this see okay I guess I I haven't done the glass you know what I, I take it back I'm going to do the glass uh, one that's the last thing this has got a subdivision on it and um, let's go back to here actually let's go back to this yeah you know what I'm just I'm just going to keep it I'm not going to go lower now. I think that's going to be all right. I'm going to apply that. I may not apply this at this point. I'm going to turn off the solidify. So I'm going to turn off the solidify for now. And for the glass, um, let's go back into material. I think I already... No, I guess I didn't. I guess I did this. I think that is probably going to be just fine, uh, just like I did this, just unwrap. And this one, just you unwrap, so th that would be the glass. Now let's, uh, so who else is in here that's still got a subdivision on that's causing uh, this stuff here, eh? Well, what I'm going to do is, um, no gonna need to I'm applying that that's two can that be one let's settle at making that one in fact I'm going to delete that one because I'm gonna copy this one let's have a look I'm trying to select everything sometimes you have to select a little bit all right so at least it's not overlapping or anything so I've got a number of UV tiles done so far I'm not finished they're not all the exact same density. That's just the way that it is. I may come back and have a look at this one here. Something doesn't look that great to me there. Um, and you know, and and the, the the problem is there's more stuff in here in this first grid that shouldn't be there. All right, I need to go back and make sure everything is in the right place so that this and this, if I select those. Remember, that's that's going to be there, and that's all I'm going to want there. And then I want to look at this this one here and say you know that that's uh they're looking pretty small um so i don't think there's anything else i really need to show you here 
um, unless I do one more, unless I do one more for you, just, just for brevity's sake, we look at this one, all right, okay, I don't like that, as you know, so I'm coming out, yeah, we'll do, we'll do one more, just because that's going to be it for the video, and I apologize that it's not a real thrilling one, it's just something that we have to, of course, do, um, so I'm going to get rid of these edges, and if I look at that, what I would probably do here is I'll, I'm going to drop a, I'm going to mark seam, I'm going to select there, and I'm going to select there, and I'm going to mark seam, and this is just the way that I do it. I'm going to select a bit and control L, U, unwrap, and that would be how I would unwrap this, unless you need it to flow in. Let's have a look without that seam, and that's always good for the experiment. Let's, let's select and control L. Let's just look at this again. All right actually not bad without it let's try maybe without it over here see and then it goes like that so I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna screw around let me do that okay that's gonna be like that and um, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put a seam in here mark seam I probably will actually let's take that and let's shift H to focus on it make sure there's no ends no there isn't alt H Okay, so this guy, control L, let's try unwrap. Okay, it looks all good. And then we have one of these guys again, but we got that thing in the middle there. So let's see if I can get rid of this for the moment. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, let's use uh, H to hide. Let's just come in here and focus on this. And take this, I don't really care if it's a bit wobbly. come in here okay I want that one that one I don't remember which one I'm on <laughs> that one I'm gonna I'm gonna do the second big one I know on the other one it was like three in or something I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it this way this one I may have got the wrong one there but it doesn't really matter that much okay control L let's try just unwrap And that's what we get there now of course I can take the whole thing now and and just unwrap the whole thing a little bit more consistent and there's what looks like our stop sign all right so what I would do is I would delete that one and I would delete that one and then I'd copy these down so I will go ahead and unwrap the rest of the stuff I'll set it up into the different UV tiles and I'll show you where we're at at the end I might touch up a few things and if I do I'll tell you for example I'm not really crazy about this but it might be fine and then we'll move on into substance painter all right so thanks for for watching and we'll see you soon